probably my favorite topic, the inspiration of the Bible, the, the powerful word of our awesome God. Basically, I tell people this. When I read the Bible, I hear God talking to me. When you read the Bible, you should hear God talking to you because the Bible is the word of God. It's God communicating. That's what the Bible is. Do you catch that? When you pray, who's talking? It's me talking to the Lord. Do you know what people do a lot? They talk to the Lord before they listen. You ever heard of George Mueller, the orphan guy? The man that had the orphanage? How many of you have heard of him? Raise your hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. George Mueller was a German who got saved in the 1800s, believed God, and said he was going to rescue all the street kids of England that were malnourished and orphans. They Basically, they just put them into factories and let them die there in England. And he said, that's not fair. And I'm going to raise them, educate them, teach them a job. So Bonnie and I got to go to his orphanage. It's in Bristol. It's on the west coast of England. By the end of his career, he had rooms and beds and clothes and closets for over 5,000 orphans. And he, he fed them three meals a day, had, had beautiful you know, bathrooms for them and clothing, and taught every one of them a trade. So when they turned you know, of age, 17 or 18, they left the orphanage with a career and a job. It was a remarkable. I mean, he did that for 50 years. Do you know how many generations of orphans that is? And, and we know how many there is, because Bonnie and I, they let us come into his office, and he had this gigantic book. And it was, I mean, it was huge and thick, and he had every orphan, as they came in, he wrote number 3,471, their name, their birth date, when they arrived, and at the end, and by the way, his handwriting kept getting older and squigglier because he, he aged. He wrote down where he launched him into. You know, they went off to be a baker or they went off to be a seamstress or they went off into the British Navy or whatever. And it was the book that he kept track of God taking care of him. Well, the reason I bring it up is what characterized his life is this. George Mueller read the Bible through 100 times sitting at his desk. And his Bible is still there. I mean, Bonnie and I looked at it. He, you should see how beautifully he wrote in his Bible. But he got convicted about it, and he said, I've only heard the voice of the Lord speaking to me through his word 100 times. So he said in his journal, the second 100 times I read it, he read the Bible 200 times through, cover to cover, the second hundred times, he said, I read it on my knees. And he would get on his knees and read the Bible. You ever fall asleep while you're reading the Bible? Try it reading on your knees. You won't fall asleep. It hurts so much, you can't, it'll keep you awake. But he became renowned throughout the world because his orphans became missionaries and pastors and servants of the Lord. And all of them wanted to know the Bible. And he started the Society for the Promotion of the Scriptures. And he ended up, he lived till, I don't know, his 90s, late 80s, and ended up traveling the world because, boy, was he a good Bible teacher because he'd read the Bible through 200 times and could communicate it.